Hello everyone and welcome to Mm Mm Cooking with Sarah. Today I'm going to be making a cake. Not just any cake, a chocolate cake. Mm Mm Cooking with Sarah. Let's go! Go ahead and set your oven to 350 degrees. Hey, from inside my cabinet, let's get baking. <laughs> okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a bowl. Like this, a big bowl, because you're putting a lot of stuff in it. So make sure it's big. Second, yeah, after you set your oven to 350 degrees, you're going to want to get these measuring cups. Oh, first, let's get one and a half cups of sugar. This here is sugar, and we're going to pour one and a half cups of it into the bowl. So just go ahead. Wait, is this sugar? I, I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and pour that all. Oh, here's one cup. Huh? Pour that one cup into the bowl. Then, because you're really good at measuring, you're going to get half a cup. And go ahead. Mmm, look at that. Oh yeah, it's like a waterfall of sugar. Oh! Don't do that. Pour that into the bowl. Now you have one and a half cups of sugar. This is flour. It's a different kind of thing. It's a lot thicker. It, oh! Okay, go ahead and pour that into your uh, get in there. Okay, once you have a cup of flour, go ahead and just pour that into your bowl. <laughs> this, this, it makes texture better. Nah. Okay, let's get started. You're going to want half a cup of this. This stuff is crazy good. It makes your cake moist. Moist. It makes it... <gasps> So I have this. This is huh, this is cocoa powder. Perfect for baking. Perfect. That's what we're doing. How they know. So we're gonna want a whole cup of this. A cup of butter. <laughs> a whole cup of butter. So that's now in the bowl. What you wanna do is you wanna mix that butter up until it's crumbly. Because you want you just want it crumbly. You just listen to my recipe. Uh, side note: This not this not my recipe. Just just be quiet. So once your butter is mixed in with your powder, you can. It's gonna be crumbly like this. Look at all the crumbliness of the butter. Mmm, crumbliness. After your mixture is crumbly, you're going to want to add eggs. So I have here four eggs. Get your four eggs and just go ahead and crack them into your mixture. You're going to want to add a cup of Greek yogurt. Huh, I don't have Greek yogurt, so we're adding a cup of regular vanilla yogurt. Oh wait, I forgot the vanilla extract. The imitation flavor. I'm thinking it's the same thing. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Am I alright? Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do, pick this up if you can, and do two teaspoons. Oh yeah, mix that cake. Now you have this delicious cake mixture. If you want to get crazy, add chocolate chips. Mix the rest up and you have your cake mixture. Ha ha! Delicious! Yeah! Alright! Now all you gotta do is add this mixture into your cake pans. I'm using these little ones because I'm gonna make a two tier cake. Oh my god! Now just add your cakes to the oven and set your timer to 15 minutes or 30 because I think that's how long mine took in the end. Just don't burn your house down. Alright, now we're going to make the frosting. So for the frosting, I'm making chocolate because we're making a chocolate cake. 
So I'm just gonna oh I'm just gonna add a stick of butter. Haha, ha. okay. You're gonna wanna just use your in a clump like so. You can add the powdered sugar and the cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. And you wanna sift it so there's no clumps in your in your in your frosting. As my mom makes a bunch of noise in the background. Ha! <laughs> Let's go. So, just, yes. Oh my goodness, that got everywhere. Oh well, just sift in your powdered sugar. Oh By mixing the cocoa powder, butter, sugar, and a little bit of vanilla extract, you will get a mixture like this, which is your frosting. Your finished product will look something like this. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Mm Mm Cooking with Sarah. I hope that you stay tuned for more episodes and stay, uh, gotta go.